For Toyota, the North American market is all about the SUV. Don't get me wrong, cars and trucks are still a huge piece of the puzzle, but we've seen the company shift to build more SUVs because that's what buyers in our region like the most. Now we cover a lot of Toyota first looks on this channel, and more often than not, they outline the trend that I just put forward. But today, things are a little different. This is the 2023 Toyota Crown. And if that name sounds new to you, I promise you're not alone. So stick around, because I'm gonna tell you all about it and why it's coming to the US. Before we get too far along, let me remind you to please subscribe to the Motor One US YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also follow us and interact with us on social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Before we talk about the car, let's start with the name. A Crown has been around since 1955 for Toyota, and it has been a staple for the brand, especially in its native country of Japan. Believe it or not, Crown has actually been in the US before. It came in 1958. It was actually the first Japanese production car sold in the country. And the last time there was a Crown for sale in the States was 1972. Since then, the nameplate has stuck around in foreign markets, and for us Americans, we've seen spiritual successors to the Crown, like the Lexus GS, for example. But now, the Crown is back in town. Let's take a walk around and see what's up. Now, sometimes when we're seeing a new generation of a car, it's difficult to point out things that are new or things that they've changed. But this, this is a clean sheet design. This is a brand new car from the ground up. And to me, it seems like a little bit of a Toyota design study. There's little bits and pieces from other models in the range. There's some BZ4X in the headlights, some Avalon in the grille, a strong influence from Mirai at the back of the car. And then from the side, Volvo S60 cross country. I mean, come on, tell me you don't see it. I'll stop with the jokes, I promise, because I'm not the authority on perfect car design. But there's just something about the crown that is a little bit too all over the place for me to enjoy the entire thing. For me, it's a matter of this two-tone paint more than anything else, and that is exclusive to the platinum trim. But huge sections of the car are done in black, like the hood, the entire trunklet, Then you get these kind of clashing panels in this area. There's just a lot going on. Then we get to the matter of the lifted ride height. This is a signature part of how this car looks the way it sits on the road. Now for Toyota, they're looking to court buyers that maybe want to come from an SUV back into a sedan, but keep that lifted ride height for easier ingress and egress. And of course, with the Avalon now not being continued for the next model year, the Crown is the effective replacement for that car. Lucky for us, the interior is a lot less polarizing. You know, we're getting into Lexus territory with this interior. Other than the Mirai, this is pretty much the nicest cabin of any Toyota on sale at the moment. Because I'm sitting inside the top trim platinum level, things are as nice as they're going to get. That means we get full leather seats, they're heated, ventilated, there's even heated seats for the rear passengers. Now, every crown trim level is going to get this neat bronze, it's almost copper-like accent. It runs across the entire dash, goes around the AC vents, and then kind of continues along with piping on this seats. Looking at the tech in front of me, I have a digital gauge cluster right ahead of the driver, and then this is the 12.3 inch center touchscreen display. It's been in a lot of new Toyota products. If you want to see a more in-depth look at that, click on the pop-out banner right here. The Crown rides on Toyota's TNGA K platform, and to give you an idea of how big it is, it's just a few inches longer than a Camry. Uh, another car that shares this platform is the recently debuted 2023 Lexus RX, and the reason that I mentioned that vehicle is because the powertrain choices are actually pretty similar here. There will be three grades to pick from, XLE, Limited, and Platinum. The first trims come with Toyota's 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid and all wheel drive. This powertrain is more focused on efficiency with an estimated 38 MPG combined and less than 250 horsepower. The top trim Platinum gets a spicier power plant, a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder paired to an additional electric motor at the rear, or as Toyota calls it, E-axle. It's named Hybrid Max and offers 340 horsepower. The Platinum also gets additional driving modes and adaptive suspension. So quick recap, every Crown model will be electrified with consumers getting the choice between more power or more miles per gallon. The 2023 Toyota Crown will go on sale later this year in the fall with pricing information to come at a date closer to that. For more information on the Crown and every new car debut, head over to MotorOne.com. Thanks for watching.